Hi guys, Ian and Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we're talking about the latest release from Nike. Part of it obviously is the Hyper Venom 3. We're going to get into this pack, we'll break it down, we'll start off with the Mercurial. Stay tuned until right to the end because we've got some interesting news about the kids Hyper Venom and also, but also the Hyper Venom X Proximos. So stay tuned for that. First up, as I said, is the Mercurial and it's in this nice electric green. Exactly, so it's actually the first time that you've seen this very bright green colorway on a Mercurial. I think it was on the Vapor 10s, also back in the day with the Vapor 4s and Vapor 3s. They really do like this bold colorway. Obviously, it's an attack minded boot, so if you are a forward or a wing, you want to stand on the pitch, then this is definitely going to do that for you. Yeah, very bright colors. Um, I do remember Ronaldo having like a Superfly 4 that had that bright electric green as yeah. well. So we've seen it a lot of times before. It looks pretty good on these boots, especially in the Superfly version. Obviously the other version that you're seeing and talking about is the Vapor, so we're going to see a few players wearing those too. Yeah, so that's the low cut version. Obviously Hazard's in those boots. I hope that he might wear them. Obviously Chelsea wearing a blue kit. I'm not sure how the blue and green will go together, but obviously it's a very bold colorway. If you are a player that does like those to like stand up on the pitch, then definitely go for it. I'm not a fan of green colorways, but I don't actually mind this type because it's a lighter green compared to a darker. This is quite a nice light green. Um, the black Nike switches pop up quite nicely and you've got the Mercurial branding on there as well. So it looks quite nice. Um, and another boot that is part of this with the Mercurials is the Mercurial X Proximos, so the indoor version. Um, another green one. Have we seen something similar in this green before? They used, they used green on the indoors, haven't they? Yeah, I think they have used that kind of green colorway on the indoors before. Obviously, the Proximo version of the Mercurial isn't our favorite indoor boot out there. It just feels a little bit too chunky for us, but I mean, if you want something that's a little bit comfortable but still attack minded, then you can go for it, but it is just slightly a little bit bulky, so if you like a lot of nice, quick touch on the ball, it might not be the right option for you, but I've got some um, other indoor boots coming up as well. Yeah, we have. Um, let's move on to the Magistas first, and we'll talk about the Opus, which is an interesting one, because this could be the last time perhaps we see this particular upper on the Opus. Well, exactly right. So obviously the Hybrid 3 has come out. They've got the Dia version, which is the mid-cut collar, but also the kind of the low cut, which is now the new finish, which of course is full flying, which has made the boot incredible, which will make the Opus 2 such a better boot, because for me personally, it's one of the biggest flops of this season so far. I didn't really like that candle upper they used with exposed dimples. So if they do make it full flying it, I think that's gonna be a massive improvement. Yeah, it's interesting because we've got a video coming up about the truth about what players are version two. In that we've got Iniesta and he hasn't been wearing these Opus, the retail versions. He's moved into his own kind of custom version. So it's interesting to see that. Obviously he used to wear the Obra and that is what is up next. So we'll look at the dynamic fit version of the Magista. What do you think of these? I think these actually look great. I mean, I do like red colored boots. This is more of a crimson color to it. And you can just about see that heat map because that was one of the problems with the launch color with the Volt. And it had, yeah. I think, three different colorways for that heat map graphic, which is completely cont contrasting. So now I like that, as well with that kind of red crimson colorway. And I just put it there a little bit subtle, but I think it looks brilliant. I think yeah, it's a lovely I think, colorway. I think subtle is the key, definitely. Um, Blake is a big fan of the red on the Magistas, and he also likes red Magista indoors. There was um, a pair of, I think they were the Breakthrough pack that came out a while ago, red Magistas, and we've got another red, red Magista here today. Um, what do you think about them for the indoor? Yeah, I, I think they're great. Obviously, we did actually get those into our office, and we sent them out to Ethan Hernandez. Yeah. Blake really did like them, so it's a shame that he couldn't keep them, but I love those ones, and he loves these ones as well. And for me, I think they look better than the Mercurial X Proximos, and I think they perform so much better as well, especially on that sole plate. It's got that kind of thumbprint kind of graphic on there. That texture, I think that's brilliant as well. Yeah, it works very well. So moving on, we've got another boot, which is the Tiempo Legends in this kind of vault color, Nike Love Vault. Well, they do love Vault, and also the Tiempo Legend loves Vault. We saw it on the Legend 5. We also saw it on the Legend 3. So those all over Vault colorways, Nike do love them. And I think the Legend 6, it might have a few durability problems, but I think overall it is a nice boot to play whilst it is fully intact and this colorway is fantastic as well with a little bit of black swoosh on there too. Yeah, I think it's great to have a Vault option in the leather. Very nice. And they've also brought out the indoor version as well. So they've got the Proximos in the Tiempos. Um, what do you think about these? It's a little bit kind of like canvas almost kind of look at the front. They do have that kind of slight little toe box bit there, which is probably a bit of durability because obviously that can be a problem if you are playing indoor kind of yeah. football, then it is very aggressive on the upper because it is K leather. Yeah, and it? the TM Pro Xbox is a really great choice for indoor, like one of our kind of favorite options yeah. for playing because of that. Very popular with a lot of um, small sided players. You can see them at the Olympics and um, uh, Paralympics and things like that. Very popular. Um, to be worn. Let's talk about another indoor boot and it's the first time that we're getting a really good look at the Hyper Venom X Proximo 2s. Absolutely, um, so it, what I like about it so much is how they try and copy it so much from the boot version into the small side because sometimes in the past they actually made them a little bit more of a scaled down model mm -hmm. which I wasn't really a fan of but they really are that top level model now which is a great thing to have with all those nice little technological additions. Yeah that's it, it's mimicking the whole um, indoor indoor version is the same as these. Um, the other thing that they put on the sole is the little 
Night zoom. Oh yeah, Night Zoom Air, yeah, so this is a massive thing. When I was a kid, I was wearing one of the first ever Total 90s that came out, and that had Air Zoom technology. And I remember for me, when I took out that sock line on the bottom of it, just at the hill, it was a little pocket of air, which is kind of encased by a bit of plastic. So I'm very interested to see if they put it onto the sock liner, or actually in the sole plate itself. You can see it on the sole plate in the bottom. The sole, yeah. It's a little kind of bit of plastic see-through, and I'm just interested to see how it kind of feels, and also just looks on the boot. Yeah, it's interesting, so obviously Adidas had their boost technology in mm. boots and shoes and things like that. Nike have hit back and they put Zoom in the uh, Hypermenum X Proximo, so it's really exciting. Something else which is really exciting is the kids' version of the Hypermenums. So in the past, kind of the kids' version um, has been a bit of a kind of lower grade version, at least in the recent releases. They weren't too bad maybe going back to the uh, previous generations, but in the recent generations, especially the Superfly, things like that, the kids have not matched up with the adults. But as you're seeing in the pictures right now, the kids do match up with the adults. So the upper is pretty much the same that, is, that is a brilliant thing. We actually covered that um, before 2017, so earlier in the year, last year, we covered how the, the kids' version of the Hyper Venom and some of the other boots were so much more scaled down to the adult version because they were, are still expensive. Kind yeah, of the price boots. is still high and you weren't getting the same quality. So it is shame. brilliant now that they're going to have that same upper, which has those polymer pods, the fly wire. It's got everything that you want on the adult version, but on the kids, apart from just that sole plate. Yeah, so the only thing is the sole plate. On the adults, you've got this bit of sole plate here with the yellow, and you see the extra kind of little bit of flexibility they built into it with this hyper reactive sole plate. That is the only bit that isn't on the kids, it's more of like a kind of plain normal sole plate. Yeah, that's not going to matter as much as like the upper. Like no. The fact that you're getting flying it on the kids' boots is great, we're really happy to see that. Hopefully, it means we're going to see it again on the Superflies and like the Obras and all those other kids' versions in the future. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. So there's two more boots to look at. Um, the boots you've already seen in the pack, you've probably already seen the tests already on the channel. If you haven't watched the test of it already, go watch it now instead of listening to me talk about it. But I'm going to say that obviously you've seen these, these are the Hyper 3s, these are in the pack. And we're really excited to see, oh hold on, let me just make them, here we go. And then there's the low version coming as well. So I'm uh, really excited to see those, hopefully we'll have the low on the channel soon. Otherwise, go check out those tests, go enjoy football.